All right. Is it in perfect place? It is in perfect place, but I gotta set the timer. I'm definitely keeping off this end because my camera likes to turn off. Okay. You wanna keep the computer right there? Um, you can if you want to. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep it here. Um, what's up everybody? It's hey. your boy Busy Blue and I am back again. I'm gonna try this once more. Okay? Now I know I did y'all dirty last season. Because I wanted to review the show, but I wasn't persistent. It's just a hard time during the time. But I'm gonna try to review the show. I'm trying to I'm gonna try to stay on top of it. I got y'all to sign. And now this time, I was I'm trying to get her to get into YouTube, <laughs> but she's not listening to me. But I want to give another Michelle. Hello. Tell them about yourself. Because I had to ask something to this. I forgot. It. Yeah, <laughs> <that> <laughs> Go ahead. Tell so, the people about, about yourself. I don't know. Talk to them. Um, Jay. Um, see, this is why I don't need a YouTube channel. <laughs> um, let's see. About myself. Girl, time's up. Okay, y'all. So here we are. We are here to recap and review Real House of Zelana season 11, episode 1. Now, I told y'all, and I told myself, I even told my mom that I wasn't going to watch it. And I didn't want to watch it because Kenya Moore's not on it. She's my fave. And if my fave's not there, what what is this show? <laughs> A show without her. <laughs> I don't like that. That's sad. You know, I wonder if I should put the light on. Hold on. Y'all, and y'all know how I do. This is real life to the real life. Where's the bag? So, I just don't want it without her. And I'm not a fan of it. And I, I'm not going to feel it. Oh, my fans know me. So, and if they're not, y'all, welcome. And this is Gal. Um. <laughs> so, we'll be all right. Child, that thing scared me. Girl, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Oh, that like look good. Y'all say it don't look good. Y'all hate it. Y'all happy I put that on there. They don't like the light. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know. But they're they going to like it today. Okay. All right. So, we about to review Real Hustles Land of Season 11, um, Episode 1. Um, I'm going to move this only because we don't have no endorsement with Apple. <laughs> okay. And I don't need them seeing that. But we're going to make it bigger. So that we both can see it. Mm, sure. Yo, how y'all like this episode? I will say, so she's not a Real Hustles of Atlanta fan. Nah. Um, how did you like the episode? Like to begin with? The beginning, I don't, I don't, I don't do the sad stuff, so I didn't like. Oh, she was thing. not here for this for the yeah. sad. But I did like the rest. Um, it's interesting. I gotta get used to it. It's We're gonna like, get her used to the characters and everybody. Yeah. So we gonna start off. It started off with Portia. Um, she's now Miss McKinney, okay? And she got so into this relationship way too early. This is what I'm not understanding about her. Was the last season she was just cutting up with old boy? Was that last season? <laughs> oh, no, last season she was talking about people flip. Oh, that was season nine. Season ten, oh, she was just getting in fights with, um, um, <laughs> Mimi and that bun. Um, so, um, <laughs> but she likes this guy. His name is, um, I think his name is Henry. Henry McKinney. He owns lounges and clubs and I guess the original hot dog factory. Um, it was crazy because they went out to get rings that I, I don't know where my is at, but can you please come and hurry up? <laughs> Child, they was taking out them diamonds and putting another one in. I'm thinking to myself. Take care to be precise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she was watching. She was watching. Now that was in tune, okay? Um, yeah. But he was like, ain't no budget. Budget. What's a bud? What's a budget? So, after that, we go see Eva real quick. Um, that was, it was, oh, no, 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 no. They started the show. The intros. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all could have done better. Like, I don't know who helped y'all out with those, but I just, I wasn't a fan of the intros. I don't know if, I don't know. Y'all put in the comments, how did y'all feel about them? Because I just wasn't, they didn't give me enough shade or anything, but I will say this. Eva looked good. Yeah, she the did. girl looked the girl. She looked the girl. Everything she does, she slays. Yeah. She wakes up in the morning and says, let me let these motherfuckers know who's the boss. I woke up like this. <laughs> amen. 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 Yeah. amen. It's just, she's just who she is. Um, then we get back to Portia. Do this on one time and again. Um, 
I don't remember if they actually got one. I know she walked away for a second, and yeah. she got on the phone, and then he was like, oh, ain't no, it don't matter what, what, what time you get, but... I think they did. I don't remember them getting one. Yeah. Bravo, y'all pulling, pulling the okie doke. Okay, Portia, is this really your nigga? Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, so then after that, we go to Greg. So this is where she got a little emotional. We go to Greg. Greg has all his meds. You know, Greg, he was diagnosed with stage three. Um, what was it? Colon cancer. Yeah. Um... I guess he was telling a story that in Cinco de Mayo, they were out and he was having a lot of pain. And she was like, okay, okay, okay. So then she finally took him to go to the hospital. And then that's when they realized that he was diagnosed with cancer. Um, okay, first of all, that was a very nice bad thing. It looked like a negligee almost that he had on. That was a really nice. Those pajamas. Yeah, those pajamas was, <laughs> they was hitting it. Okay? Was okay, work for the one way. They was so good. And I was thinking to myself, that's a flashy little pajama <laughs> suit. And I thought it was really nice. I just thought it was nice. Yeah, it was, it nice. was like the little checkers. It was a little, <laughs> little silky. Girl, it just, I felt like it would have been like money. <laughs> yeah. Um, But they started talking and they talked about cutting out most of his cancer. And Nene just, I mean, taking out most of his colon to get make, make sure that uh, cancer was gone. And Nene was not here for her. I know she was saying that that's how you could tell the Jew that she loves him a lot. Yeah. From that scene. Yeah, you can definitely tell that she loves him. Like, she was very emotional, but trying to stay strong for him. Mm -hmm. hurt, so, yeah. It must be hard to see somebody you love, like, go through that. And you, they've known each other for, like, years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, that must be hard. Um... She was saying that she tries to be strong in person, but then a lot of the time she goes away. So she was saying that her car, okay, my God. She said her car must be like, this bitch cry all you. the time. <laughs> all she do is cry. Call, tell you, okay? <laughs> all she do is cry. Because she tries to be strong in person, but then she goes alone and then she does that. Um, they had a couple of people over the house. She said that they were more spiritual individuals. People were going to be able to pray for him and keep the family together and stuff like that. Um, so they want to do healing and understanding. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it got really sad because he was saying that when he was going into surgery, he gave a letter to the doctor. I guess it was for Brent. Yeah, and he died. Uh, that was very sad because seeing a, a man cry, you know, men are always trying to be so macho. So seeing a man cry is like emotional for females. For me, at least, I feel like. She was like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> like, jeez. <laughs> But I feel like Nene's been as rock throughout this whole time, like even throughout that part. Um, where is Bryson? Okay, hashtag justice for Bryson. Okay, we're gonna put it right. <laughs> where is Bryson? This is not now. This is a, now. I know that he going through some stuff. He got his baby mama out here on a social media, down to the internet, dragging Nene. He got another baby mama. Where's Bryson? So Bryson is her older son. Okay. She be acting like she don't want to claim him anymore because he's a little girl. But, um, y'all, why y'all trying to make it seem like Brent your only son? Yeah. Nene, girl, uh. See, that, that's what I thought. So I was like, oh, I didn't know exactly, that. exactly. No, justice. Hash, hashtag justice for Bryson. I'm not dealing with. I am not. I can't. <laughs> this is too much. This is too. Hashtag justice for Bryson. We need to make sure that he's also on the show as well. If Sheree's son, okay, hashtag justice for Sheree. Uh, she has Sheree too. Going on, though. No, he don't. Okay. He has nothing going on. He doesn't. If Sheree can bring her son up here, getting DUIs down to the weed uh, in Atlanta, I heard the son dog, then so Bryson could be up right here. She had him on, what was it, season three, season four, I can't remember. I've done you, I've never done you wrong, okay? I have been your mother and all this. She was here to yell at him, but now he can't be on the show. Hashtag justice for Bryson. I'm not here for it, it's here. Hashtag justice for Bryson. We starting that. At the end of the day, it was a sad scene. They all prayed. We got over it. Mm -hmm. um, next, we saw a scene with Candy. Yo, Escape is back to, you know, Escape is one of my favorite groups ever. And they got some good songs, yeah. Amazing songs. They are that group. Those when you talk about those girls, there's those girls. They're the, they're they're those they're that girl. Who can I run to when I kick off your shoes? And we, yo, you you ready? She know the songs. We're not gonna get into all of that. Okay, right, let's. <laughs> but it's gonna be together. Yeah. 
Um, they're on a the bus. They're talking to each other. Uh, I guess they're getting ready for the ASCAP. So that's a songwriting organization. It's like a really, really big songwriting organization, and they give you um, awards on the fact that you're doing well in song. I'm sure Neil got a couple of them, okay? Because that man used to write it out, okay? Mm -hmm. um, Candy says she was getting upset that when they talk about girl groups from the 90s, Escape is not mentioned, which is crazy because I always think about Escape. If you think about girl groups from the 90s, who do you think about? That's true. I would think of them. Who else? I was thinking of uh, TLC. Oh, uh, for sure. For sure. Um, SWV. Yeah. Um, what is it? DWL. Who? Am I saying it wrong? Oh, shoot. Sorry. <laughs> you think of a 3 a W? 3 a W. <laughs> That's 2000s. Yeah. She mad, y'all. Okay. Sorry. I'm in the 2000s already. I'm getting a little tired of you. But I'm just going to see it. Never, never, never. <laughs> All right. Um, whatever. We're not going to get it. So, it, uh, I, would, uh, I would think about SWV. For sure. I would think about Escape. I would think about, um... There's another girl group, y'all. From the 2000s. All the old ladies... Ooh. I thought we wasn't getting into the 2000s. I mean, some of the 90s. 90s. The 90s. I would think about that. I them. am a 90s baby, by the way. Okay? She is a 90s baby, so... Her music references are from the 2000s. But they were being honored at the ASCAP. Um, which I thought was great. I actually remember when this was happening in real life. Because, um... Not Latasha, not Tiny, Tamika. She had it on her um, Instagram. So she was going live saying how like they were doing this stuff. And mm -hmm. I remember, I was like, oh, they're getting a, like they're getting an award. Oh, okay. So I remember their award during the, the actual time. Right, um, nice. Yeah, so I thought it was great. So I was great. I was um, happy that they showed it. How much time we got, y'all? Because we're going to go out oh, five minutes. Um, so then we get to Cynthia. You, do you want to talk about this thing? Do you remember it? I can, I can go off of my notes, but... Cynthia, let, let me, let's talk. Girl, sis, let's talk real quick. I don't know. I don't, I just don't, I don't know. I walked away on that scene. Yo, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, sis. I don't. Y'all, how y'all feel about Cynthia? <laughs> My wanna silence. <laughs> I don't know. I just wasn't. She didn't give me nothing I could feel, something I could use. I just. How you. She walked away, so that's how you know. She said, I walked away doing this thing. Since people were walking out of the room, as you said. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, Cynthia got up on the screen, okay? Acting like she's in love with Mike Hill. Maybe she is. Maybe she is. And maybe it's. I don't feel it yet. Child, I'll say this, and I'm going to skip it. I hope Peter isn't watching, okay? Because if y'all really doing it like this, show. then this is a whole new Cynthia. She starts to call Mark, Mike, and they talking. So she met him through a friend of Steve Harvey's, right? And apparently they've been talking for a couple of months. Uh, she said she really, really liked him. She also, first of all, he got on the screen. Strong. Oh, hey, baby. Oh, hey. Um, oh, your lip gloss is pop. I said Cynthia. <laughs> Anyway, her lip gloss was popping. That's her boyfriend. Um, and he told me some. She told me some. Oh, he swam in Lake Bay, the the cool waters of Lake Bailey, several times. What type of whore, Cynthia? When did you get like this? First of all, good for you. Okay, <laughs> yeah. At any age, let him swim in no cool waters. But it also, Peter. I really hope you're not watching the show. He lives in L.A., um, and they were talking about that, then Noel comes in. They're talking about the long, this is relationship part aspect. Noel comes in. She, apparently, she only met him because, y'all remember season eight, seven or eight, don't quote me, um, when she was trying to do something sexy for Peter, and he, she had him naked on the bed, and then, um, Noel came in. Well, apparently, that happened again, okay, season 10, 11, um, where she, Noel just came home early. Noel says, look, I'm not giving you definite timelines. I'm going to catch you in the act. Are you trying to get some D? Says, I'm coming home 20 minutes earlier than I, th I said I was going to come. Okay. Um, and that's how they met each other. Um, but I don't know if I'm really buying this whole thing. Y'all, 
Put it in the comments. Let me know if y'all buying the story. She could talk about it because she walked on Cynthia, girl. You're going to have to give us more this season. Because right now, snooze fast, okay? Snooze fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to snore. So now we get Eva. She's taking photos with her, uh, I think he's her husband. No, she said she's play, they're, they're playing the wedding. Yeah, fiance. Though. She's so beautiful. I know. She's gorgeous. She is. Talk about America's Next Top Model. Yeah. America's Model. I didn't realize the beauty of Eva until, like, tr tr yeah. not always know that Eva was. Did you watch America's Next Top Model? I did, but I didn't. She was on America's Next Top Model. She won. Oh shit. Um, you really didn't know that. I didn't know that. So where did you know her from? Oh, did you not know her at all? You just like, I learned. I watched movies with her in it and like social media. Movies, girl. What was that? Yes, Netflix, she's in Netflix movies. Okay. Yes. What What's movie? It called? It's um. I just watched it. Um. Eva. Yes. Oh, um, her and um, Amber Rose and oh, so some trash films. No, um, it wasn't that bad. Amber it's, it's Rose is in Sister Code. There we go. It's called Sister Code. It's I never. Bad. We'll put it here. I never heard of it. Yeah, watch it, you guys. You, I mean, I don't know if you would like it or not. I don't know what y'all like. Um, but I thought I thought it was good. Yeah. Like, we're not what was it about? It. It's basically uh, they're the all foster sisters okay. and um, they're like trying to their mom died and they're like all trying to get their lives together or basically they, oh, yeah okay. they all That's have so different cute. like they're super different okay and they're they're all living under like one roof oh cool i don't know it's weird i don't know <laughs> I maybe i'll watch it i maybe i'll watch it it's don't watch it if you want to <laughs> oh yeah she says it's good it then we're gonna take her word for it okay i like cheesy Got more confidence in yourself because <laughs> i like cheesy movies that's okay <laughs> So do I. Yeah, whatever. There's a movie I want to do a review on from Netflix, and I'm not going to do it all because it was the corniest movie I ever watched in my life, but I cried and I loved it. So. <laughs> and, and that's all that matters to me. But you know, Eva, she's here, she's with her husband. Yeah. Uh, she's with her kids. They're taking, y'all, oh, when I say baby. they. Oh, she loved the baby. <laughs> Eva, watch her, watch her son because she's going to snatch him up. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm she is going to rob the cradle. Like, mm. She loves him. I will say this. Y'all did Kevin McCall dirty. Y'all trying to make us look at me. It's not a lie. Eva. Mm -hmm. Eva. Oh, the shade, child. <laughs> you trying to make it seem like Kevin McCall was never here. Oh, she, he's the only dad she's ever known. Girl, she don't. She the whole damn <laughs> No, she's not. Now, your, look, your baby daddy is crazy, but you let him slide in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm keep quiet. Anyway, she's with her husband. They're taking photos. I thought it was a cute scene, and I loved her husband's um, like sense of humor. As we all know, her husband was the guy who was running for mayor, but he lost to the bottoms. Um, praise God. Um, <laughs> and, <laughs> um, but he lost to the bottoms, and now now they're just now getting back into the relationship or whatever, and they start to take pictures. I liked when. The photographer's like, yo, have you done some modeling recently? And the, the husband was like, oh, I mean, it's here and there, but not. But he wasn't talking to him. I thought that was cute. I want somebody with a sense of humor like that who's going to be able to laugh and joke and stuff like that. So then she started doing her little photos. She says she's going to be getting married soon. So we'll see how that goes. After that, we got Nini at the Swag Boutique. Now, bitch. <laughs> you better act like you were. <laughs> Nene girl. Yeah. She put on a couple of empty hangers over to me. Here he go. He go say. <laughs> like yeah, I'm gonna pick this one. <laughs> girl, you don't be there like that. You know. <laughs> I found myself a sponsor. Uh, that's all you want. Nene, don't be acting like you working at that shop. Yeah, she said like, picking out the hangers though. <clears throat> girl, if you are you a boss like that, you want me? She said, oh, here you go. <laughs> anyway, she um she was working. She was working. <laughs> you can go ahead and tell me. <laughs> no, God, please. He is she was working. 
She was getting them clothes together. <laughs> moving around the clothes. You think <laughs> y'all know how when y'all are if you ever worked in retail and you're trying to act like you doing something, that's how that went a little bit. <laughs> Like, let me act like I'm doing something real quick. Y'all, Lady Eve was putting those things in. Here's her head, Debbie. Uh huh. <clears throat> let me hand this to you. Act like something's important. <laughs> <laughs> but, so she was, you know, acting her ass off. Um, she gave a couple of hangers to the sister, and Portia walks in. And Portia, she brought, she brought flowers. And basically, Portia's MO is that. Nene's husband is sick, so I'm trying to make her feel better. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I know what she's going through. It must be very, very difficult. Uh, so basically, she wants to make sure she's okay. Um, Nene's saying, you know, I'm going to just work through it. You know, it is hard. I'm going through a lot right now, but at the end of the day, like, we, we, life has to go on. Mm -hmm. And I know he's going through this stuff, but I still have to keep going. Um, As she should. They started to talk about... Uh, Portia's new friend. Now, this is what I don't understand. Now, y'all thought that Phaedra gave us a run for our money? Okay, those last season with the timeline? Y'all, I need y'all to give me a help me out, okay? Nene says to Portia, oh, I, I hear you like somebody. So now she's like, oh, yeah, I like somebody a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I like them, yeah. Okay, but oh, second of all, Portia's breast. Sitting. <laughs> yeah, they look really good. They were everything. That's literally all he talked about. It sure like, was. He popped up on a For screen. Sure, and he looked, those things like, look so good. Yes. They look so good. That but, job is done perfect. But I'm not gonna harass you on the film, okay? On the footage. Let's get back to my my question. They set the scene up like they've been dating for a minute. Mm -hmm. Her and Portia, Portia and um, oh boy, right? Yeah. The hot dog man. Um, the, just, I, she said it, not me. <laughs> the hot dog man and her been dating for a minute, right? Right. Now she's meeting with her friend, you know, who's pulling hangers off out the car, out the clothes. Um, and her friend is like, "Oh, I know she knows someone." What does she say? I, I, I knows, I know she knows someone. There's a new friend she has in her life. Mm -hmm. My nigga, was it they just picking up wedding rings like five scenes ago? Maybe two or three things. How is this just your friend? Yeah. Or, oh, I know she's met someone. I mean, but that's what she's trying to portray to them as, you know, like, oh, uh, you know. No, I don't. You haven't said anything. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to cut that. <laughs> no, we're going to keep it in. Yo, what were you, what were you trying to say? They, no, we're not. Yo, <laughs> Yo we keep all this. So Y'all know us. So, but I, well, <sighs> I don't like the fact that she is trying to make it seem to us like, oh, we so far ahead in our relationship because they picking well, up. That's how, those that's are some rings. That's how some females do. But now she's with her friend and her friend is like, oh, I hear you got somebody you're dating. Girl, are you dating him or are you about to pick up wedding rings? Yeah. That's a little... Well, maybe she wants to be married. You know, like, that's what she wants to I do. I think she does. Her friend, she don't want to make it seem like she's pressed. Like, oh, yeah, you know, I just met him. Okay. 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 Give her a break, okay? <laughs> I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you a break today. Anyway, Portia was look, um, pulling out um clothes because she said she's going to go to, you know, on a trip and whatever. She wants to put on clothes. Portia's booty in those yo, I feel like this is getting very rapey, so I'm gonna just stop. But she looked good. Portia looked good in the clothes. Okay? If you like men who like men sometimes, um <laughs> after that we got candy. Now candy's at the ass cap event. Ace was um crying a lot. Apparently she was saying that um you know, I, and the kids have bedtimes. Like, I don't have any yeah. children, but you can't keep them out. Not that late, yeah. Yeah, late at night. Not only that, it's a bunch of people around, so it's just like... It's a, a kid, sensory it's overwhelming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and Ace was getting very, very upset. And Don Juan was the one who was, like, holding him the whole time and keeping it together. Now, um... Trying to keep it together. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it together. Oh, we, we're not... Actually, we're not there yet. It's Candy. For the ASCAP Awards, they were having dinner together. And... Riley's big. I think she's only 17 now. That girl look like she paid mortgage. Okay. 
<coughs> Candy was saying that she has two embryos and like, what should we do with them? Because uh, she's like, well, uh, Raleigh, you said that you wanted a little sister. Mm -hmm. And Raleigh's like, well, yeah, I said that, but I now see how you act with kids. Even, oh, girl has something. Um, even Todd's daughter has something to say. Like, y'all be saying at 11 p.m. Okay? Y'all about to be going tomorrow. And I don't like that. So her kids are letting her know, like, yo, if you want to have another baby, sis, that's it's on y'all. Yeah. <laughs> you do what you want to do, but, uh, girl, y'all not good with kids. Okay? They just got a lot on their hands. But I feel like the kids are, you know, they're up in age. Yeah. Where they should not she be did say like that. that. I mean, but you want your parents around. I understand around. that, too, but... Y'all not babies. Well, maybe that's just my point of view on it. Like, y'all not kids. I know it, it feels... You want your parent around. It, it depends. Like, on my my point or a view on it is, like, if you're not around for weeks or, like, you know, days, it's just like, okay, like, where's my mother or whatever? Where's my parents? Right. But, child, yeah, no, I do her. Yeah, there are. I mean, and then she have a little one. Like She does her. a little baby ease. Yeah, he's so cute. Candy was a she was I think it warmed Candy's heart though that knowing that her children wanted her around and wanted to be more, yeah. be with her. Um but Candy was like, yo, her daughter even said to her, like, yo, <clears throat> when I was younger, girl, you were around so much I never thought you even had a job. Right. Okay? You were mommy duties twenty four seven. Right, but now <laughs> it's like you're not doing that and it's only time. Um and Riley said, like, yo, if the money doesn't matter if I don't have my parents. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I just want them around. Riley's not here for it. Okay? The girl said, no, ma'am, ma'am. Right. Okay? <clears throat> and then she said, I said what I said. Yes. Yeah, like, which I loved. I loved because I was a yeah, read that. I would reach across that table so fast. That was a read that <laughs> Nene Lee did to Candy. Yeah. Okay, season. Six? At the end of the day, she read her, and then her daughter read her with a saying, I said what I said. Okay? Mm -mm, I don't, mm -mm, I don't cut down. I was here for it. No. We have our words. Okay, so then we get to Portia. Uh, she's with her sister Dominic, and they're trying to prep for Florida, trying to pick out clothes or whatever. Um, Portia's saying that she's very, um, she's very protective of the hot dog man. Um, she doesn't want anybody to really come into the life and try to, you know, mess up whatever she has going on with the hot dog man. Um, he does have hot dogs, right? Yeah, the hot dog factor, okay, the hot dog man. That's what he'll be known as on this channel, the hot dog man. Um, um, she so she wants to start inviting everybody out to go out with them. She called Cynthia first. Cynthia was like, "Yo, I want you to come to the Miami show." Cynthia's like, "Girl, girl, if if a Nini, you know, I would eat her box." Okay, so <laughs> yes, I'll definitely come to. Them. So, um, Portia then says, "Look, um, and he called Kenzie. Okay, she calls Kenzie." You liked her ringtone. You said you actually it wanted it. It was so cute. I'm going to do that. <laughs> Yo, Candy, can you put that on iTunes or something like that so that people can buy it? Like, no, if you I'm want. I'm going to make my own. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> I'm joking. Her young was so disgusting. <laughs> it was so cute, though. I was like. Because <laughs> like, what what what? I would have been like, what the fuck? <laughs> what was it? Yeah, it's like a. I don't Something know. that I put in the If I don't open by the end, if I don't yeah. the end, I was like, okay. It was something like that. Candy, she about to steal your idea. Put, I'm telling you right now, put it on iTunes. <laughs> you better uh, copy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Candy said, um, she better copy. Yeah, copy. Um. But she talks to Candy, and you guys know it's been very awkward because the relationship with her and Candy has been strained. So she was nervous. Um, I thought it was going to be awkward. And it was. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. she was like, uh, hello. Mm -hmm. Hey. Um, how things You know what's shady when the answer is just like one answer. It's like a one word answer. It's like, yeah. I cannot take I, people who text me one yeah, word. Yeah, like, I was expecting more, so give me more. Like, what do you mean by yeah? <laughs> <laughs> hello. Hey, um, I just want you to come to my interview with us. Okay, you know, it's how things going over there. Everything's going good. Um, yeah. I just want to make sure you come to Miami because, you know, she's been going through a lot. Okay, I'll go. Okay, then, girl, I'll talk to you later. Okay. And they were so psyched like it went well. Like, that did not go Yo, well. The girl was like, ah, she's coming here with me. And then she probably on the other end like, this bitch. This bitch. <laughs> 
there's me here to calling me, asking me to come to Miami. She know I'm going. The, the cast already told me I had to go. Okay. Production said I had to go already. Anyway, uh, what's real quick? I have about two minutes. Oh, we can do this. Look at this real quick. Um, it, so it's time for Portia's B Day weekend. We can't do this until it. Yo, okay. Y'all, I'm sorry. And I had to even take a pause and I had to restart the camera for this because. <laughs> Portia girl, sis, ma'am, girl. That house was a mess. Okay, you got way too much. That's how he talked about Yeah, nah, you have way too much money for your house to be looking like my best. One of my closest friends when we about to go out to the club. It was too The iron board was right That's by the door. woman for you. Then. No, like, man, you man, man. My goodness. That was too old. I said, this looked like one of my friends' house. She was Port right. She was ready to go. That she house is too you big. Worried about picking nothing up. Ladies, how you feel when you about to go out? You come back like, damn, I wish I would have cleaned up before Oh, sure. Out. Before the cameras came by. Right. It was way too much Portia, girl, bitch. No, girl, sis, ma'am. She was everywhere. <laughs> Stuff was everywhere. Stuff was everywhere. She had dresses here and blouses here and brushes here and <laughs> dust bunnies here. Stuff, <laughs> stuff was on girl, sis, man, Porsche, girl, Porsche, man. Stuff was all over the place. You make too much money for your place to be looking like, you know, Lacosia place when I'm about to go out with her. Lacosia. <laughs> <laughs> you make too much money. But uh, I'm going to leave it alone. After that, you see a quick scene with Eva. She's saying that she's going to Miami too. She's spending time with her kids. I wonder why they didn't show Portia calling Eva. I don't mean, maybe they're just not close like that. But if they're gonna show her calling Cynthia and Candy, why didn't they put Maybe it wasn't important to them. I don't know. Or maybe the conversation. I don't think she called them. The heart of candy was just like, yeah, we're here, I'll come. Mm. So they could have showed Maybe they didn't maybe she didn't. But she did, didn't she? She called Cynthia and she called um Candy. Mm. Maybe she didn't call her. I don't like that, y'all. Continuity. <laughs> um, after that, you got Cynthia. She's sitting, she's sitting here. She's getting ready. Nene calls her. She's like, hey, girl, um, you still coming down to the thing? Now, I thought that that was weird because I thought it was a surprise. But apparently, I guess Nene wants her to just come and not ne necessarily surprise her. I don't know. That was weird. But Cynthia's like, well, I want to keep the surprise. So, girl, I'm about to jump in this car. this car real quick. And I'm going to talk to you later. Excuse me. Now, we're finally at the Ask Cap Awards. Ace is crying a lot. He's mm -hmm. going crazy. But I'm excited to see Escape. Like, just together, it was really, really you know, exciting to see. Ace is going crazy. Don Juan is the one who's holding him the whole time. He's crying. He has a baby. Don Juan was being shady. Tom's supposed to be somewhere around here. And Ken is like, where's Tom? And Don Juan's, he's probably at the bar. Oh, yeah. I said, sis, man. Probably with me, okay? At the down to the bar. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, Jermaine Dupri introduced them and they got this award. So it was really cool. It was really cool to see Latasha was the one who was uh, speaking and saying, hey, hey, we're just these girls from the hood who really wanted to. You're making me on. Sorry. It wasn't that boring. I mean, <laughs> okay? Uh, then they got their award. After that, we got Portia. She ended it out. Um, tell me how you felt about this. Now, I feel like Portia's using this man. So, he brings her down to Miami for her birthday weekend. Mm -hmm. Not in the car. She's talking about something. Yeah, so I have other friends now. So, I actually have other plans. Oh, wait. I didn't catch that part. You did? I didn't. He flew her down to Miami in a private jet. Yeah, now she was talking about all of that. Like, oh, yeah, my boo got this and that. But he, she never told him. That she had all these plans. Well, that's that might be the reason why he was acting like that in the car then. At what point? When they was talking about the you could, before um before him knowing the Nini part or well no because I feel like they were trying to have some type of connection because he was trying to hold her hand but she kept going like y'all I'm I read the body language. But, his body language was off too. That's why his body language that. was very like, oh yes, yes. But her was like, <laughs> no, it was yes, yes. But it was like, and it was just like blank. So 
You, you you feel so you feel what I'm saying about I don't think that this is a real It might not be. I feel like he really like her, but I feel like she's using him. Really? Like he, I, I do. I don't see. I, I see how she can be using him, but I don't think he's into her either. He just drove what you think he into? What else? Not not her. <laughs> this is the portion I'm into you, okay? And I like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> But um when he brought her down there, she's like, oh, oh I It's like what? What do you mean? Right. Now you but now you got plans to go out with your friends and stuff like that. I just I felt some type of way about it. And then when they kept going through, also you know Cynthia, you know Marlo, you know Kenzie. I mean. Let me just tell you everybody that's gonna be here before you say that. <laughs> I think they're trying to. I think they were trying to 